I want to ask you a question. I want you to follow this because I know that you're very intelligent and some of us, we have a little common sense. I want you to follow this scenario. Now, you and Paco are very good friends. You and Paco. What up? I'm your friend. I'm, I'm your friend Paco. We buddies. Y'all been buddies for a pretty long time. and You have a relationship. That's my brother, Paco. Yeah, I'm your brother, Paco. So, you and Paco walking down the street and Paco sees Taco <laughs> and Taco and Paco don't get along that well for whatever reason Taco tells Paco I told you man don't come on my side of town Paco said, hey man, you don't own this street. I'd go wherever the hell I please. We had an agreement, Paco, says Taco. <laughs> you ain't supposed to be coming over here, man. Hey man, what you gonna do about it? So, Taco declares war and strikes kapow Paco that's your buddy that's, that's your road dog that's your friend and so they get to fighting and people in the crowd folks watching or whatever hey I don't want to get involved even though that's your boy he part of your crowd you say to everybody, hey, that's between them two. I'm not going to get involved. I'm not involved in what's going down with Taco and Paco, even though Paco is my boy. That's my road dog. But I don't like what's going down, and I, I'm not involved in the fight. But what I'm going to do because I see that uh, my boy Paco is a he's a, a little disadvantage in the fight. He's smaller. He's not strong as Taco. So I'm not look, yo yo. I'm not involved in the fight. But I'm gonna slide my boy Paco a knife. I'm going to slide my boy Paco a gun. That's what I'm going to do. But yo, I'm not involved in the fight. And then your boy Paco cuts Taco with the knife. Your boy Paco takes a shot at Taco. Y'all following me? Or you getting you getting confused in the Taco and the Paco? <laughs> now, Taco is telling you, hey, you better stop helping him. Otherwise, you're gonna get some of this too. Does this Scenario sounds sort of familiar to us. Whether we realize it or not, those of us who are living in the United States of America, some of us are talking about World War III. Some of us believe that we are not at war. When you decide 
to help your friend pack up and you slide him a knife and you slide him a gun you have entered the fight and so Taco is telling you that you gonna get some of this hey I hey I'm not in y'all fight but that's my boy I'm gonna slide him up you entered the fight you are part of the conflict how can the United States say that we are not in the conflict we're not in the fight but you are sending money and arms and intelligence and everything that you can to the Ukraine oh wow I'm not in, I'm not part of that we're not you are un, unofficially in the fight just like if you go back to World War One, World War Two, or whatever. The United States was assisting whoever, but they were not declared. The Congress did not declare war, and did not say officially we was part of the war, but they were part of the war, way before the actual declaration. Yeah, we. We declare, we declare war on Japan. We declare war on Germany. Blah, blah, blah. You are already in the war. When you pass your knife and your gun in support of whomever. So whoever they are fighting, they got to see you as an enemy. You're helping somebody whoop their ass. And nobody's going to tolerate that. We joke around on social media every day and we watch these blogs and reality shows and dance shows and singing and cooking shows and, and all around you there is an atmosphere that not only can de that sooner or later the United States will have to declare we are part of this conflict. Sooner or later, whoever is going to lose in desperation is common sense. Somebody is going to fire the first nuclear weapon. And that's when our reality, as we know it, would change forever if we survive. Well, some of us are going to survive. But life as we know it will never be the same again. And we're watching this. President Putin of Russia has already given warning. Look, because, see, we should have been able to deal with this a long time ago. You suckers sending these people weapons they should not even have. Nobody's going to talk. The United States would not tolerate that. They're not going to tolerate somebody, like, say, for instance, in Afghanistan, if the Russians or the Iranians, whoever, when they were in Afghanistan or Iraq, they're not going to tolerate somebody assisting and helping them, but yet and still, they talking about, I ain't, I ain't part of that. Not gonna, it's not going to happen. So how in the hell can NATO and the United States feed and help the Ukraine I don't have nothing to do with that conflict. I'm not involved. You are involved. As soon as you send arms and money to the Ukraine, 
you are part of that conflict. When you pass your gun and your knife to Paco, you are part of that fight. And, and so somebody is going to start passing a knife and a gun or whatever to Taco. Russia has allies. There are those who support Russia. There are those who ride with Russia. They're going to pass. They're going to help. And sooner or later, whoever is the loser is going to fire off the first nuclear weapon. I'm not a prophet. I'm just using common sense here. Because if Paco is your friend and you pass and people see that you're helping your friend, they're going to help their friend. Taco has friends. And then people who gather around to see the fight and they know Paco, they're going to jump in the fight. All hell breaks out on the street. The United States is already involved in this Ukrainian conflict. They are not, I don't have nothing to do with it. We're not, no, you're not officially involved. But you're part, you're already in the fight. They have told us outright. The United States have given the Ukraine so far over $2 billion. Your gas prices have risen. Your food prices have risen. You're already in the conflict. And you're suffering because getting involved in this, gas prices and food prices is going to going to be the least of your concerns. Isn't Russia a heavy hitter? Isn't Russia considered the number two superpower with a lot of nuclear weapons? Aren't they friends with China who's supposed to be the third? Oh, this is not going to end well it's not going to end well it's not and we sitting around here the United States should just leave that alone that's those people business and Russia is doing the same thing that the United States would do they're not going to allow somebody to be in a position to set up military bases so they can be easily striked in the Ukraine just like the United States had a problem with missile bases being built on Cuban soil to put Cuba, I mean to put Russia in a position to strike the United States. It's the same stuff. Every country must watch out, be concerned with their vital interests, their security. This is not going to end well. And they're going to ask the sons and the daughters of the poor and the middle class to fight this conventional war that will eventually turn into a nuclear war. That's the way I look at it. How do you view it? Jot down your comments. Let's talk about it. I'll catch you on the flip. This is your brother. Peace and respect you.